Good evening and welcome. It's almost seven o'clock. You're a bit premature. Welcome to Spray Make Sense Live. Um, as you can see, we've <laughs> we've got a guest this evening. Yep, my ginger bird. Okay, the love of my life. You can tell you're not politically correct, can't you? Why? Oh bless. No, 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 no. Go on, on your bed. Good evening and welcome. Tonight is brought to you by the lovely people at Sprayman UK. And I do apologise, Ash. We were due to call in. <coughs> if uh, Mr. Mike Nash hadn't been, uh, he just didn't stop it's talking. Fault. It was, yeah. yeah, it was Mike's fault. Hi, Max. He didn't, Fred. he didn't stop talking, so we were due to. I said, look, Mike, really sorry, time out, enough, we've got to go see Ash. Uh, and he's going, oh, just one more thing, one more thing. I know, he did want to come, he's put in a really sad, crying face. Is he? Okay, well, the, the, the point is tonight, uh, she actually gave us the hats. And he's on. Oh, he's... Mike. Yeah, well, honestly. Yeah, So. Mike. Hi, Andy, he's Steve. So we were just talking about the fact of stopping off on Tuesday. So, where did we go to? No, Monday. Was it Monday? Who is this? Gav. Oh dear. Scott. Right. So, where did we go on Monday? Uh, to see your mum. Went up to see my mum. On the way, we stopped off at Spearman UK. Blue Tech. And we had to see Steve, who is a service engineer, which is Mike's partner. And we also bumped into... He's not a service engineer, he's just in charge of services. Oh, do you know what? So then what we did was we... I had a chat, quick chat with Martin, and then it was funny because we were chatting to Martin, and Mike literally walked past. He was like, "Just talking about you." <laughs> so he didn't know we were coming out. We dropped off the machine. So we got to see my mom. So we went up to Sheffield, um, spent the day with my mom. Then we drove back to Birmingham late, stayed in Birmingham that night, and then we where did we go? Oh, we went to see our good friends Reese and Craig. Why? Because they were working on a job around the corner and I wanted to get some video of them actually working on their projects. They were spray plastering. Reese, Craig's been doing spray plaster for well over a year now and he's doing a lot. I mean, he's done a lot of plaster down here with me. He's done plaster in the Midlands, a lot with Reese, hell of a lot in Scotland, Preston. And now he's just, we've just had the green light, he's due to go over to Dublin with Damien to do some training. So Spray Plaster is actually moving over to Ireland. We've been after it for a while, it's happening. We've got our first, um, it's not a course per se, we've been asked by a big contractor <coughs> to go in and do some on-site training. We've done on-site training before, not a problem. But the contractor as well actually wants uh, part of the contract doing so. Craig might actually either stay and carry on doing some of the contract work or you might just arrange to go back to later date. So plaster is in uh, going to Ireland. So Reese bought the machine, I think he said three weeks ago. Yeah, from Sprayman. From Sprayman. Uh, in all fairness, Reese shopped around and it wasn't that Mike was the cheapest, it was just that when I spoke to, to Reese, my take is like people come to us for training, it's, it's after, it's the support that's more important. So I said, if you're gonna go anywhere, in my book, just, just go see the guys, they've been really supportive towards us. And he gave them a good price, and I know that a few other people have inquired. He was, he was competitive. He was, yeah, he was. At the end of it, he got a very, very good price. And Mike look, looked after him, and he's, he's literally flying with it. Oh, we got Johnny from America. What, Mr. Data? Yeah. Mr. Junior. Hi, Johnny. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, Colin. Colin Bidwell is not really meant to be on here. No, he's meant to be in the pub. He's supposed to be sat watching telly with his wife. Oh, Colin. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> shit, yeah. Huge shout out to Tracy. Yeah, shit. Mike Nash's wife. Mike Nash was like, look, you got because apparently we we now move into a stage where we've got the the wives wanting to uh, rather watch this thing. I don't know what's on this time of night, Coronation Street or some some dodgy. So, so we've got to make it good. 
Um, so we, we are going to be giving away tonight one of the contractor PC guns. We're going to be actually using it tonight, which is the beauty of being down here. And we've got four of the Sprayman UK caps and one with a little bit of dandruff. Okay. Oh, that's ours. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, <laughs> anybody who's anybody <laughs> don't talk too loud don't talk to, honestly you are he was down here earlier we'll go through that in a minute because Colin is more about the main segment of what we've been doing today and also the testing of the contract again. so back to Reese they went they were spray plastering um, for you guys that are decorators thinking about spray plaster don't bother talking to me, uh, you're better off talking to the guys that have done it. If you're a plasterer, talk to Craig, he's been plastering six years, now all he does is spray plaster. Reese has just started where he reckons with the jobs he's got booked, which is probably only two, I think two, maybe three, has paid for the machine, the product, and the training. And it was really good, because the job, he walked us around, we've done some videos, so we'll put the video up once we've edited it. And the idea was that, I mean, I've just done some spray plaster here because I picked up my machine. Mike had had the machine to service it. It wasn't quite right. There was something where Steve said, just bring it up and I'll redo it. They literally went through it with a fine tooth comb. And Mike, if you're on, excellent. Okay, I was going to text you earlier, ran out of time. Um, we sprayed some earlier and first impressions, yes, everything's cool. Okay. I am on site tomorrow with the machine, giving it a full run. We are doing some uh, spray plaster over wood chip. Reese, on his job, sprayed over paper, lining paper. It does have to have quite a few coats of paint on to make sure that the moisture doesn't penetrate. They tested it, it worked, it was cool. One of the rooms he was saying, as you come down the hallway, he was meant to reline it. I think he was meant to reline it. So he'd obviously got a price in there, traditional decorating, strip it fill it, reline it. He said to the client, I'm just going to strip it, I'm going to spray it, and what I like about Reese more so at the moment, and I, I try and get all the guys that come through here, start with the logic of testing, and start with the logic of time analysis, and making notes. Reese reckoned that he'd price pretty much a day to strip it, and reline it, and everything else. So I think it was a day to just reline everything. <clears throat> they sprayed per coat throughout the hallway 45 minutes. So even if you said that was an hour and a half for the spray plaster, 30 minutes for the sanding, that's two hours. That's technically, what, it's just over 25, 28%. Okay, so he saved an absolute bomb just on time. And the finish is fantastic. The client, as far as the client's concerned, she's like, I've got a plastered wall and all I wanted was them tidying up with lining paper. Reese kept asking me to just touch the walls, he was so happy. <laughs> he was happy, I mean the ceilings look really good. Uh, we've done some really good video with the guys, both him and Craig, as to what what they did, what, what did they work through. Um, it's really good. I'm going to do some video, I might even do some live tomorrow if we've got good internet. What's near Crystal Palace Football Ground? East Selhurst Park. So literally from the house, from the bedroom, you can actually watch the game. You can see the wall. You can hear the game. Hear the game, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I don't know whether you'd want to actually go watch a Crystal Palace game, but hey. Yeah. For all the Palace fans out there. Exactly. So. Um, you, you're off track. No, a little bit. You know, we have got some notes, and I do try to uh, stay on track. <coughs> We've got to do a couple of shout outs tonight. So if you want a shout out, let us know. But we're doing a shout out to Tracy. Okay. Lovely Mrs. Nash. So that's... She said hello. Oh, she? Okay, she wanted a big wave, so there you go. <laughs> Lindsay will turn the camera in a minute and you'll get the, the full front of Lindsay. Oh, then you will not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, also, um, Katie is responsible for making sure we got the hats. Because, who was up there? Warren, weren't he? Warren and... Yeah. Oh, I don't know the other fella's name. Yeah. They've gone up to pick up a, a machine off mic. And he, he, it was funny because he was talking to the guys and saying, oh yeah, you really need to think about doing some training. Um, it, knowledge is power. And he didn't even know I was in the building. So when he saw me, he dragged me in and said, have a word with the guys. Warren's on here, so Warren already knew us, so we had a really good chat. 
and Katie gave them the hats and then as we left to my mom's there was this big thing that he's he's got a hat who else was it that had a hat Yeah, it'll come back. She's got gone, she's gone memory like a sieve, my missus. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so it's a big shout out to Katie for the hats. Thank you very much. We, we're giving away four tonight. We've got four questions that we've already... Do not pan to the board because the answer is on the board. Only one. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Only okay, one. fine. So we're going to be working with the gun, okay? We're going to talk about the gun in a minute and then we're going to do... Uh, some of the giveaways and everything else. And we actually got the machine set up. Jeremy Walker got a hat that has to do with his compressor today. I'll tell you who wants a hat, Mike, if you really want to give one man a hat who loves a good hat, it is... Steve Oldner. There you go. <laughs> Steve loves a hat. I did say to Mike the other day that Steve likes a hat. Yes, he does. So if Steve's on, then... And Andy and Megan, Jerry normally keep colder hats for him, bless him. Do they? Yeah. What, what Merkers and all the rest of it? Anything. Brushes, all of them. He loves a good hat. So, what else have we got on tonight then? It's just because you've written it and I can't see it. Um, what the giveaway going to do? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Just if people want to write their good, the bad, and the ugly over the last week or so. Okay. And then we'll chat about ours um, and we'll run through those a little bit later. Okay. As well. So, what, what was it? The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> We're well oiled, okay? This is serious stuff we do here. No mucking about. You wanted that music. I've wanted it for ages. Okay, the good and the bad and the ugly. Okay, I'll go through mine later. What I want you to do is just give us some feedback. What's been good this week, what's been bad, and what's been downright ugly? Give us a bit of feedback. Lindsay will make some notes. And we'll see if we can actually add another prize that we'll give on top of that. Whoever's got the good, the bad, and the ugly, which kind of balances itself out, that'd be really, really cool. So. So we're to the main bit. What, who did we have over today? We had our good friend, Mr. Paycheck, Colin Bidwell. Me and Colin have not it. <laughs> oh dear, what's happened? Craig, Ian visiting on site was the ugly. <laughs> They're not meant to be... He's waiting for the other two getting ready. It'll be a while. Okay, I thought they were at Ulysses. I don't know what... Is Craig, Craig, have you been? No, they're going out. He's waiting for them to get ready. I know, but if he hasn't been to Ulysses, he's in for a treat. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Gotcha. Panos. Panos, yeah. Panos, the great Greek and god. Like the yoga instructor out of couples retreat. Couples retreat. <laughs> Only about thirty years older. Yeah. Okay, so you, you might have that image. It's really yeah. quite bad. So Colin Paycheck. Colin Paycheck came over. Um, <clears throat> just he's supporting the academy. He supported it, you know, in the past, but he, he wants to get more involved, which is fantastic. <coughs> We're going to be using a lot more of their products. Uh, we already use them, but we. I want to spend a bit more time with Colin because I really want to understand the, the, the best bits. We did that lovely um, bathroom unit in the cafe. We forgot, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I'll try and post that back up. You might remember the, the unit I did with, with all the gold, with the swirls that came across. Uh, that was black half primer, and the reason being is, apparently, true black. It's not, it's not one of their bases that's tinted, it actually comes from the factory as a true black primer so it's not gray it's black so we did the primer and then we did pu matte and then i went over with the gold which was hard and bright uh the client was yeah chuffed to bits it's great. it does look great and it's hard as nails it has to be because it's obviously in a in a bathroom it's a vanity unit and everything else so that was really good i have used some of the pu matte we did some black doors on a job as well if you remember yep. uh, a job in seven oaks these are white, okay, so we've got the, the matte and the satin, and the half primer, I don't need to tell most of you guys about the half primer, it is, it's, yeah, it's, it's unusual gear, um, it's very, obliteration and coverage is probably one of the highest ones we've found. Um, we do thin it a little bit, okay, I'm, I'll talk about ratios when we actually do the training, okay, so we're going to be using that. The idea is, if you want to come and do training with us, we'll do it through 
the show as well, you know, I'm sponsoring the show and everything like Mike's doing. So if you want to get your products here so we can actually test it live. Today we're testing the gun, okay, and the hat. The hat's working. The hat's working really good. As you can see, it's really good. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit bigger. It needs one of those kind of flaps at the back, but it comes down the front with the heart, with the eyes. It's really good. It's got adjustable as well, because I've only got a small head. Mm, big big mouth. mouth. <laughs> that was not rehearsed. That's 23 years of living together. It is 23. Okay, right, okay. Yeah. I think that's what you get for life, isn't it? Coming up for 28 this year. Oh, jeez. Um, it is, isn't it? So we've got the heater on here. We're warming up these. We've been working on these. The idea is these are going to go on display boards. So when people come to the, any of the training centres, doesn't matter which one it is here, Preston, Exeter, Ireland, etc. Um, there's going to be products on the boards. So if it's a particular day that we are being supported, let's say by Copperall, we'll put that in your hands. We'll show you the best and we'll show you how to get the best out of it. Obviously, you're coming down to learn how to spray, but the difference is with us, we, we, we can't help it. Um, we had a company down a couple of weeks ago. They build uh, display stuff, and we, we were talking about products, and I didn't particularly want, I wanted to concentrate on other stuff. They pushed me on products. Next thing I know, they've transferred all their product, like uh, Mr. Ben Byrne was asking a particular question earlier today. They transferred literally their entire business from one company, boom, to another. Why? Because they got the measure of the product here. They literally got to grips with it very good. And, and, and they got the ability to, to see how it layers on, layers off, and how it sounds, you know, just everything. And, you know, where does it run, if it runs, why does it run, how fix the tropic, what the microns. So we're going to go through all of the the products and we're going to put them on a board so on the board you would have pretty much all of the caprol range and you'd be able to pull the board off see what it's like have a feel for it before we actually start spraying with it <coughs> yep <clears throat> so we've got products here that are drying some are already dry some are still drying we've got um Farron ball isomat uh, technos uh little green Brad Eye, uh, we did put some more on the board. We were kind of ready for this. You can't show the board. Uh, okay, 10 or so, little green. Yeah, pretty much all of the ones that we've just, we've gone through. So, you know, plus others, those companies that support us and want to get involved because you guys as a community want to try and get the right information. And even Colin said today, he said, I can't help it, we are unusual because we really want to, we get into this, you know, what we learn today, we teach tomorrow, so you get to use on Monday, you know, it's that kind of scenario, so, and then what are the, boards behind? the boards behind are <clears throat> samples that we're doing for the other academies and here, and again, it's, it, it's a showcase element, we got a lot of people up here, you might not be able to see, uh, what we started to do was we, all right, don't, don't take the, don't take the pit, Mick. All right, please. There's bubbles in that wood chip. Yeah, uh, that's because our 14 year old son put it out. <laughs> with no tuition. No. He literally threw it up. I wanted it as bad as it could be. Since then, we've put a couple of coats of plaster over, sanded it, and painted it, and it's absolutely fine. You can go over wood chip. Obviously, the companies aren't going to endorse that because there's a lot of variables. The difference is we can do this, they can't. And, you know, we, we have a lot to do with, let's say, Job and Bezier and some of the other products. And what we're doing here is this is over Artex. Again, my four-year-old lad just got crazy with a bit of Artex, mixed it up and just swirled it up. So what we've got is the Artex at the top, one coat, two coat, we'll cut it again and then we'll sand it. So and we'll do the same for the paper. So these will be in the academy so you can actually see how far we can actually take these products. Again, a bit like anything, you have to test, test the products, test the area. Again, sure it's Craig and Reese, they did exactly the same. Yeah, you test an area. First thing we do tomorrow, we've got a meeting on site with a client, but I said, look, can I just spend half a day just doing some testing? The testing for me allows me to make sure that my pricing is right. What if I, what if I priced one thing, like let's say I did price, which I have, to spray over the, the wood chip, and it all comes off. 
So I've got the product on the surface, which is cost, my labor on the wall, which is cost, and then the bloody stuff starts falling off the wall. So we're gonna test pretty much a section on each of the areas to make sure you know, that it is going to adhere. If it doesn't, we have actually preempted this and we've said to the client there is two prices, one to go over, which is obviously the best, best scenario and the best price, but the second is we might have to strip it first. So the client's aware and the client's like, yeah, we, we trust you. And I think the main reason they trust us, and, and I try and get this across on the courses more so than anything, is with clients, the years of experience and everything else, down isn't the answer for me. It's the fact that if you step back, you're gonna lose face. If you step forward and the fact that I'm testing this stuff, it gives a lot of credibility. So that's what we've been working on with Colin today. Um, we've also been talking about XVLP. There's some new machines coming from Wagner, which we're very excited about. Um, very excited because you know, from Colin seems to get the really the latest info and he feeds it through to us. But Colin's really cool. He's going, don't say too much. So we don't say too much. And that's really hard for me because I like I like blabbing. <laughs> so I'm not going to. So you're gonna do a giveaway number one for the hat? Yeah. Okay, so let's just talk about the gun for two seconds. Okay. What they say is it's, it's a lighter gun. I mean, that's a contractor gun that I've used for about 15 years, okay? I've got another one in my store that's worse than that. This one probably isn't 15 years, but I have been using contractor guns. Up to about three years ago, and then I started to use the T3600, okay? I have used the Vector gun, which I think is awesome. Obviously, Wagner do one and Titan do one. I think they're really good. They come with an ergonomic grip, okay? They are... The, the handle is virtually the same. It just, it, it, it just feels exactly the same, other than the fact that that is a lot heavier. A lot heavier. This is just, it's a lot lighter. It's a lot sexier looking, I must admit. I reckon it's 50% lighter on the trigger pull. Well, straight away, as I literally pull the, I mean, that one is just like one finger. That one, yeah, that's gonna hurt. And that's a two finger, but it is definitely, I'd say even more. I mean, this fine. This is an older gun, but I still think that that is more than 50%. I think that the trigger pull, I've actually used it on here, is, is amazing. Okay, first hat giveaway. Okay, the first person to come up with the right answer. Okay, grey cars tips. Okay, not necessarily the green ones anymore. These are LPs, but the blue ones, okay, were called Rack X. Okay, what does the Rack stand for? R A C. First answer wins first, first hat. Right. First one to tell me what R A C means on Rack X wins the first one. Apart from Jack. Uh, guys, play a fair. <laughs> Pete says the Greco gun looks like the Wagner Vector grip. It does. We said that. It does. But it, Pete hasn't got the ergonomic uh, bits in the back. What it does do, okay, I'm going to show you in a sec. We'll just talk about the gun a little bit more, okay. And this is, this is a big shout out, shout out to Spearman UK. As we were walking out with my Mark V, he said, oh, have you got a prize for the show on Thursday? And I said, we have them. We're still kind of setting things up. Oh, I know what I'll do. How do you fancy having one of the, the contractor guns to give away? I went, my, I said, how much are they? He went, <clears throat> retail, 300 quid. I was like, are you, so I'm happy with hats, okay? The guys are happy with hats. All right, maybe not. <clears throat> These are retailing at the moment for 175 plus fat. The difference is Spearman UK actually does have stock, right? Because there's a lot of people out there at the moment on the internet, <coughs> excuse me, saying that they've got stock. Um, they haven't. And some places are giving discounts and saying they've got stock and they haven't. So Mike has got stock of the gun. First things first that I like, okay, because we are a little bit health and safety since we start doing all the training is it's got one finger trigger lock left or right handed it's exactly the same it is really good a lot of times when i'm teaching people it's a two finger element two fingers underneath the gun and then slide up the lock this is quite simply a one finger lock so i like that and it's plastic it's nice and light it seems quite free i don't know what it's going to be like once we've kind of got paint excuse me paint over it one of the other things it's got is 
it's got adjustable uh, two, three and four finger which is really bizarre okay it's a little bit harder because I've got to be careful here because the gun is under pressure okay the trigger lock is on so I'm going to turn that halfway because that's that's a good safety practice as well and I am going to just loosen that a little bit no I can't loosen it anymore it won't come down without that so I'm just gonna have to there you go put that back on fine as you can see the plastic sleeve has slid down so you got a four finger okay so what I'm gonna do is just push that back up okay now we've got a three finger okay but I like like a lot of people spraying with a two finger that's just I spray a lot of doors and cabinets so a two finger is really good for me it's really nice it does fit in the crook of your hand and you know quite a few guns we're seeing now like like Pete just said with a vector grip two fingers hold here okay and it sits in the crook it is just a really nice element we've <coughs> we've made the gun better okay we've just doubled the flexibility of the gun the lightness of the gun uh, the less fatigue of the gun and the portability of the gun by simply adding a shoelace whip okay y yeah we can do this this is the point you know we can put this gun on any of our machines on any of our hoses so what I've got this is my trim setup some of you guys have seen this before it's a seven and a half meter hose I have this on quite a few of my machines now a seven and a half meter hose which is a 316 so it is that's a standard size whip hose and this is our shoelace okay we sell these we're the only people that sell them and everybody who's bought one absolutely loves them they are I call it the shoelace because it is like literally spraying away a shoelace and it's just made this gun even lighter Max is saying what's the trigger pressure like right I'm gonna do some spraying in a second okay so it is really cool we've the UK standard okay I'm sorry but since me and Pete started this venture what three years ago we 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 struggle all right with the fact that the industry is growing you're all decorators and the majority of you are residential okay granted some of you do contract but the majority of you are residential the UK standard as it's as it looks in the mo uh, at the moment in the UK is most products say that you should be spraying at 2000 psi and all guns come with a 517 fine the GXFF comes with Pete remind me was it a 315 415 something like that the GXFF comes with a smaller tip it's the only one is it I don't know okay right so what I've done is I've put an FFLP which is one of my older ones which is a 310 okay fine anyone recognize the noise okay it's not a hat it's just a guess has anybody guessed the the rack what's rack mean does anybody put it up Mm -hmm. A lot of people are saying reverse and clean. So okay, I'll give either. I thought it was reverse and clear. Reverse and clean. Uh, that, that's fine. I haven't got a problem with that. That's cool. So Lindsay will go back, find out who it is, and tell you in a minute. The machine is a GX21. Okay. That. The first time we've used it since we've got it back. Where did we get it back from? From Mike, when we had the problem with the fuse. Mike changed the fuse. We then mentioned it to our good friend in Germany. Mr. Stefan of Ellis Discounter and he did a video for us, actually did a blog and everything else. So he's done a video for us to actually show that I don't know where we stand with this because if you've got GX21 or FF because it's the same motor, if, if the fuse goes, there's a fuse inside so you just take the back off and refit the fuse but if you take the back off, does that avoid, does that avoid your warranty? Don't know. A little bit, I don't know. Now that I know there's a fuse in, do you know what? I'd rather just take it apart, save, save my money on the servicing or time, downtime with the machine and do it. He fixed it, we've just got it back, it's working fine. Okay, it was a little bit dry, so we just had to mess around with the valve to, to just get it flowing up, everything else is cool. Okay, hat number two. Okay, Spearman UK. Okay, are you sponsoring tonight? Mike so, just said no, what was that in response to? I can't... Mike said no. Yeah. Oh, would it, right, okay. If you took the casing off, would, here you go, Mike. 
yes or no, would it uh, void your warranty if you took the, the casing off? He's going to put the answer up in a minute, so that's interesting. Mike is a, well, he's been a service centre for Grey Cross since it day one. It won't void the warranty. It won't void the warranty. Cheers, Mike. See, that's the beauty. You've got these guys, okay, supporting the show and actually knowing what they talk about. That, <laughs> more than me. Liam Stickland saying he had a fuse go on his. We had someone literally, we did the video, we did the blog, literally like two weeks later, someone said, oh, oh, have you got that video? We gave him the video, done. Second hat, okay, who won the first one, do you know? Uh, I haven't looked back, I'll have to look back in a bit. Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute, okay, we've got time. Second hat, okay, without the dandruff, okay. <laughs> it's a new one. It's a new one, it's brand new, okay, it's only been on Lindsay's head. Um, so the second question is, what did Sprayman design, okay? What did they design? For the, machine. What machine did they design or modify back in November of last year? They launched it at the show. Okay, we've had one here on the live show. Okay, what machine did they? No, nobody else. Don't get me wrong. We know what it feels like for people to copy. Okay, we get we're getting that a lot at the moment. So what we're saying is, what did they? What did they design? First person to put up, um, tell me what Spearman UK actually designed is what we want to know. And that's your second hat. Okay, I'm gonna get ready and do some spraying. So the hat's coming off two sets because I don't want to get it. I'll mix it up, see. What'll happen is you'll never know which one's which. Okay, rule number six of... I will, because the other's got paper in them. Rule number six. Rule number six of spray makes it, there's no price. Rule number six, spray makes sense, okay. No video or photo will be allowed without correct use of PPE. So I'm just gonna mumble, Lindsay's gonna to talk to you for a minute. Huh? Well, you need to actually talk about what you were... That's it, that's what I'm doing, yeah. That's what I'm with And what did you just say on my top, yeah? And he goes, this one. You're not funny. <laughs> okay. Trigger pull. Okay, so let's just have a quick look. things it's got like a, a click that makes it very I don't know it's unusual I like it it's unusual I'm gonna put the trigger lock on for two secs okay um, if you've used one you'll know what I mean it's got a very when you pull the trigger it's it, it's not a it's not a soft no it is a soft pull but it's got like a click 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 which makes it very kind of precise. Whereas a lot of guns, I think what this would do, I think it's gonna be good to teach with, to be honest with you. I think it's gonna, it's gonna help with, there, there's a lot of information that we, we read and everything else, and, and they're saying you, what you should do when you spray is to sweep in, pull the trigger and sweep out. You can do that, but my experience will tell you quite clearly, you're gonna get overspray. And you're gonna get a lot of it. I wanna be able to put this, the paint where I want it. If I only wanna do one panel on the door, is in literally one panel, I can pretty much cut in really tight. I don't want overspray up here and down there. The sides, I'm gonna get that because it's an FFLP. But you can see how much control we get on the trigger. It's a very light trigger pull. It's a nice trigger pull, but it is, um, it's, it's kind of mechanical. It hasn't got like a fluid pull like the, machine, the guns I'm used to using. Um, the other thing I like as well is the trigger guard. It, 
I don't know why. I mean, I, I know I've been using Tritex for quite a while now, and we're using Wagner's as well at the moment because we're doing a lot with the, the, testing the HGA. Um, it's got like a real click. Click. So when you're clearing and when you're putting back, unlike some of the other tips, you don't know if you've gone all the way. And when we're doing training, we, we do have to keep reminding people that you need to push all the way. This takes it out of the equation. So we might find that what we're going to be using uh, for a lot of the training, I'll speak to the guys because I'll, I'll have a word with Mike and I'm more than happy to pay, mate. I am. I'm more than happy to pay. Uh, I think I might want a couple of these for the, for the academies. Um, I just think they're going to be really good to train with because they've got like a, they take away some of the judgment and it just kind of boxes it in really good. Pete, Pete, I don't know. I'll get, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll get one. We, we are, when are we up at, for the City and Guilds? Uh, 14th. 14th, 15th. F 16th, 15th, we've got our final assessment for the City and Guilds, but 16th, 17th, we're doing beta test uh, for the new City and Guilds course. I'm going to take this up because I think this would actually be really good, and especially for the woodwork. So I like this. So Mike... You got your first sales. There you go. You came live on the show. We promoted the gun and we just made some sales. <laughs> a couple of people are asking about the price of it. 175 plus VAT. Yeah. Which for a, a contractor gun is, uh, they're not going to stay that price for long. Maybe, maybe Greco will keep them that price, but they have said that they retail at 300. Uh, so it is just an offer at the moment. There is a few elements that they talk about. The fact that it's got a quick release to remove the needle housing. They've, they've gone for this, Mike, can you give me the proper name for it? I think it's um, something Pro-X. Um, Pro Control. Pro Control X or whatever it is. It's, the fact, it's similar to the, uh, the piston on the, on the GX's yeah, where you can actually yeah. pull them out. And it's the same kind of system they're saying. I don't know, personally, I've never had a Greco gun needle set go. But I, I don't spray uh, aggressive products, although I spray a lot, I don't spray the, let's say, the volumes of big warehouses. So I've never actually worn out. Jack, Jack's probably, I mean, Jack's been spraying since 72, so Jack's probably worn through hundreds of them. Um, I like it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, um, I don't know what kind of R&D they've done, but I think some of the bits are really good. I like the, truth, uh, the, the multiple trigger. I like the ergonomic handle. It is very light. I think it's actually, I'll bring one up, Pete, but I think it's actually lighter than the Vector. I haven't got the Vector here because the SF21 uh, is out of the workshop at the moment. So if it was here, I'd be able to compare it maybe. So uh, maybe one week what we'll do is we'll put the two together and, um, and just, just see. It's not about which one's best, it's, it's just the differences, the pros and the cons. I mean, I'll still be using my 360 and I will take this on site and I'll give it a good run for its money. The problem is if I take this on site, chances are I'll never get my hands on it because the guys will just, just really start to give it a go. I, I don't know whether the, um, the plastic, although it feels nice, I don't know whether, I always find when things like this with plastic meets metal, it doesn't have the, the longevity, but only time will tell on that one. Um, so what are you going to do, because we've got the next question, but you can't ask that until you've done your, your bit. Did anyone get the second question for the hat? What did Sprayman design? Yeah. Cool. Okay, just checking. You didn't say anything. No, I've got You've gone all quiet on me. I'm replying to stuff, but I'm going to have to... Have I'm here. Time. It's about me. All right. Okay. get back to the people that had answered. Okay. We'll be able to reply as such. Um, okay, fine. Yes, well done, Lindsay. See, my lovely assistant has just reminded me for question number three for the hat. Okay. It's something, this is just one tiny aspect that we talk about on the spraying courses. And it's not until we started teaching and, and, and paying attention to how people perceive spraying and their posture and their systems so and i do this every week and me pete and the guys have probably done over 350 coming up to 400 people now and 
next to nobody gets it. So this is for question number three. <clears throat> Some of you guys that have done training with me, okay, and the, the others, if you know the answer to this, all right, you will get a chance to win other questions, okay? But just, just keep quiet a little bit, give the others a go. If you're right-handed, okay, do you spray the room anti-clockwise, clockwise, does it not really matter? Okay, that's the question number three for the hat. If you're right-handed, do you spray clockwise, anti-clockwise, or does it not matter? Okay, so that's the first one. You can have a guess, and before we finish, I'll tell you what the answer is, and I'll tell you why the answer is. Oh, it hadn't come in and, well, we haven't had one. No. Oh, if someone offered me one, <laughs> if someone was to support the, the, the live show, Dave, okay, if someone was to support it and give us two, okay, one, one for me to test and one as a giveaway, I'll tell you what, mate, you'll get a good answer and you'll get a little bit of exposure. So have a think about that one, but I'd love to try it, mate. The only trouble is those that have done uh. courses probably know the answer to this. Yeah, they will, so just yeah. be fair, just be fair, yeah. lads, just be fair. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Spray man, they got in stock, everything else. So it's 22, we're cool. Okay, do you want me to do any more spraying? Do you want me to, do you want to do a little bit on a door? I know it's not <clears throat> primer. You were talking about it, explaining and then obviously going around and having more. I know, but only when people have, has anybody answered it yet? <clears throat> Okay, do you want me to go through it? Yeah, go for it. Fine, I'm going to go through it in a second. I'm just going to try it on a little bit of the woodwork because we've obviously got the contrast. It's not primer, doesn't bother me. Okay, it's just emulsion. Okay. Very controlled. Love you. Do you want to mumble that again? <laughs> I heard that. <clears throat> it's very controlled. Yeah. Except you've put emulsion on a door. The beauty of the academy is <clears throat> you can do what you like. We do what we like. We've got guys coming down here and using this, renting the space because you know they want they want to be able to spray some stuff down here. We sprayed some furniture. I'll just show you that quickly. Little tip, something you have to think out of the box at times. Spraying black is a nightmare. We sprayed this unit. One of my guys came in and sprayed this unit, and obviously you spray it stood up, not a problem. We sprayed it. Everything's beautiful. Because we, we haven't got the extraction set up, the, the actual fans are on site on another job. So we say, it's fine, we'll just put it in here. We come back and there was little bits on the top. We just can't get rid of it. So what do you do? We spray vertical. And in fact, Mr. Colin was talking about this. He's asked for, see if we can borrow, uh, the racking system, the paint line. So again, we're speaking to Kyle in America to do some promotion with him. But Colin is all... Uh, horizontal. He sprays his doors horizontal, door deckers, all the rest, and he's got a kitchen. And he's going to spray it vertical. Because they want to try and shave some time off the job, don't they? Unbelievable. It's fantastic. I mean, we sprayed, you'll see some of the photos, we sprayed the kitchen with the racking system on site. Uh, me, I was spraying, I would say it was four days. I wasn't on the kitchen all the time. I would say it was probably Four days for me and a day to day and a half to uh, my son who was helping me. And me? Yeah, well, more of a hindrance, but you look pretty at the time. How rude. Nah, it was good. So technically, I would say, if I wanted to be generous, six days, four days for me as a sprayer and two days for someone to help me. Um, and we got it done in a and day. We got other stuff done at the same time. Yeah, we were, in all fairness. We were working on other stuff. Right, are you going to do the... Yeah. But what I'm saying is, 
four to six days and we made some good money on that job because it was it was a really nice job okay so which way do we go around the room if we're right-handed clockwise anti-clockwise does it not really matter who said it don't really matter anybody no one. Oh, okay at least you've got a system okay I don't claim to have the best systems I just have systems that work for me I can only teach you what I found works for me um, who said clockwise Okay. Rick Paul. Okay. Hutchins, okay. White, Fine. Who Anthony, said? Jason Danvers. Okay. Who said anti-clockwise? Um, I've got to go back up the list now. Dermot O'Kelly. Stark Wright. This is where my. Yeah. Uh, Rob Alexander. Steve Aldno doesn't count because he's a course with us. I think um, Dermot did, didn't he? Yeah. Were you? Do, were you there in Ireland? I might have. Uh, John Kerry, Michael Hughes, a few people. Okay, we might have to look, okay, because to be honest, guys, if you're on a course, okay, and you answer it, it's, it's fantastic, but you'll get a chance to win in the next couple of weeks. I don't want to give a prize away to you guys that have actually done the course that I've probably told. Okay, does it matter? Yes. Why? Because, okay, it's, it's about rate of transfer. Okay, because as soon as you start turning, rate of transfer diminishes. Diminishes, wasting time and money and product. But also what's happening is fatigue on your body. So when we're spraying, okay, it's not just about going from right to left, it's also about how you move your feet. So you've got to watch your feet. Yay! It's better than watching my face. I've boxed myself right into the corner. Okay, kiss left leg forward. When you get to about when you get to about here, what you want to be doing is thinking about moving your feet. And then what I can do, I'm able to do is actually hug this wall, which allows me to get right into this corner. Oh, you're funny. Honestly, you live for moments like that. Okay. What I'm liking is the fact as I'm talking, I'm just playing with a trigger lock. It's really cool. When I, when I teach spray, I exaggerate the stance. Okay. But then I was just quite comfortably confident. The reason my stance was short, okay, quite simply, I didn't need to go any lower. If I was going all the way down, my stance would have to be wider. It just would. Some people do squats. It's not going to work. You need to be able to lunge. You need to be able to have that control. So, does it matter? Yeah, it does. To be efficient and to make sure that the overspray is away from you, to make sure that you've got control, yeah, you need to be able to do that. He says, up there for thinking, down there for dancing, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> okay, you've got the questions for the, for the three. Yeah, we, that comes after. Are you going to do that at the end? Well, do you want to do this one now? And then we finish off with the good, bad and the ugly? Yeah, can do. Okay. How many people we got on lens? Yeah, also fatigues your rotor cuff in your shoulders. Yeah. I, uh, to be honest with you, when I started spraying, I only started spraying for the same reason everybody else comes into spraying. <clears throat> Everybody's joined the group for one reason, make money make more money I think what happens is don't don't shy away from that fact okay don't don't suddenly start saying oh it's not it's all about the finish it is about the finish but I believe the finish you, you don't understand the quality of the finish until you actually start spraying you don't start spraying for the finish you start spraying because 
it's, it's efficient, it's, it's high, high production. So that's the main thing. The, the n other element <coughs> that I realised when we started tr teaching, me and Pete, a lot of people start spraying because it's good for their health. The amount, of, I, I can't roll ceilings, I've probably told you guys before, I have a bad neck and I, I just don't roll ceilings. So health is really important. We have a lot of people here that don't like bending, they've got bad knees. We, we teach different ways to add in different accessories. You know me, Mr. Clean Shop, Mr. Marmite, you know, I do things in a very controversial way. Why? Because they work. All right, we don't, we don't have to sing off the, the, the paperwork. We don't have to follow the manual. We just have to be um, adjustable. We, we, we've got to be able to kind of think and test and try and everything else. So health is really important. The fourth one, believe it or not, was a 64-year-old 60, called Pat in County Mayo when I did a course with Damien. He did a course with Damien. I was over there doing a trim course. <clears throat> And Pat said, do you know what, 64 years old, jump out of bed, I love my job now. It's so much fun. And I've got to be honest with you, I think every one of you would use the word. You know, out of everything, what, what's more important to you? Money, finish, health. I, I just think it's more fun. Quite a few people have said that they were starting, <coughs> to, lose the, starting to lose the love for decorating. Yep. I, I did. That back. I did. I took a break for two years. And then I came back in, a contractor wanted me to spray something. And the contractor was kind of responsible because he turned around and kept asking me, well, if you spray that, surely you can spray that. And if you can spray that, why can't you spray that? And I'm thinking, <clears throat> he's right, we just didn't have a product, a system, the right tip, the right setup, the right pressure. We didn't have any of that, so we had to figure it out. Now we will, yeah, pretty much spray everything. Right, <clears throat> contractor PC gum. Giveaway tonight. Yeah. Okay, the answer for, the, for tonight, okay, quite simply, it's a simple question. Okay, what year was Greco founded? Okay, get on the internet quick, blah, 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 blah. The, 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 the nearest year, okay, the one to get to the nearest year, okay, we will only run this for maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds before someone starts jumping on and yeah. getting on Wikipedia and all the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah, you can imagine Mike going, you know, although he gave it as he'd be saying, he said, Tracy, Tracy, get on, get on. <laughs> Find out what it is. Pete would be doing the same. <clears throat> Pete, Pete will have all his thumbs and fingers everywhere. <laughs> and Tracy will get it sorted. Um, do you want to do the last, oh no, we'll do the last one for the hat in a little bit. We'll let people come. Okay, so what year, okay. We've got one that's very close. Okay. Lindsay will call it. She, she will stop it at some point. Otherwise, oh, okay. So Someone's got it. Who's got it? <laughs> Bob Alexander's got 200 BC. <laughs> ben Byrne. Ben got it? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. We'll, we'll get accused of sure, fixing we it. We were very, very close, but Ben was bang on. Wow. Well done, Ben. Okay. What year was it, Linz? 1926. 1926, Greco was formed. And also, for the last hat, <clears throat> why are they called Greco? Okay, for the last hat, why are they called Greco? Yeah. <clears throat> so, Ben, congratulations. Um, we'll get this to you. Uh, easiest way, if I can't get it in the post, is get it to Jack. Jack, get it to you, or get it to a carrier pigeon, all the rest of it. <laughs> we'll get it in the post. <clears throat> get it in the post. Yeah. I just want to say a massive thanks. That's a seriously good prize. We, we have had suppliers on tonight. Dave Carter's been on. Um, I'm, Lindsay tells me off, but quite simply, okay, you've seen the post that I've put up, you've seen the comments, Ben started something that I wasn't aware of. We, as a, as a community, are there to, I, I set out by helping everybody five years ago by just putting my stuff out. People ask me, I don't claim to be the best, I just claim to be the guy that put it together, and it's grown. And I've been very, 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 very lucky to be surrounded by very, very good people. My social life, sad as it is, is, is also geared around this community. We drove up and spent time with Reese. We go up and see Reese quite a lot. We go see Jack. We, you know, we've got Pete, you know, Mike Nash. You know, uh, we've got people that now are 
massively extended friends. Why? Because we have something, we have a passion in common, which is, which is our business, and spraying, and everything else. So the community has grown, but what it's done is, is twofold. It's become the ultimate resource. Everything that's current, everything we learned today, which we just did, everything we learned today, we share tomorrow so you can use the day after. That's how current it is. And a lot of suppliers use us for that information, for their own gain to a certain extent. So when they're talking to their own customers that aren't actually on the forum, I'm not being funny, it looks like they know what they're talking about, which is good. It's good, it helps them. But we want to grow, we want to give a better experience to you guys. We, all these videos we take and information, Facebook is a fantastic community, but it's not the best platform for hosting information. So we want to use the website. So we're using the suppliers to help us build a better website for you guys. For, so you can come on and access the information a lot, lot easier. And for that, what we're going to do is we're going to get the suppliers to stump up and pay for things that we're doing tonight. Okay, so we can build the website and put this information and put forward great prizes. Why? Because it brings a great exposure. I mean, all of you guys now are engaged with Mr. Spearman. Why? Because he's been a top fella and he supported us. If you're a supplier, reach out. If you guys know of people that are suppliers, tag them in. And if you have been private messaged by suppliers, I wanna know. Because that's not what this platform's for. We're gonna grow, it's, it's fantastic. I love Thursdays, you guys are awesome. The last hat, the question is, why are they called Grey Cup? <clears throat> because they're from the Grey family. And it's like Tesco, Tesco, it's the Grey Company. Grey Company, yeah. Limited. Grey Company Limited. Yeah, I think, okay. off the top of my head, I think Clayton won that. Good, good old Clayton. <clears throat> so to be honest with you, each week we are trying to get a sponsor, okay? So you guys benefit, but more to the point, they benefit. This will get chopped up, this video. It will go on YouTube. <clears throat> it will go on Instagram, it will go on the blog, it will go on the spraying news, it will go on the website. All this stuff, if you wanted to know a little bit more information about this gun. Colin says more like PLC. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, it would be, public limited, yeah. yeah. So, again, I don't claim to know everything, I just claim to be the guy that kind of waffles on and tries to put some shit together. Yeah. So, I love it, I really enjoy this, it's been really cool. It's good to be back. <clears throat> We are going to work hard to just keep pushing this forward. So, the good, the bad, and the ugly, just quickly. Did we have any good, bad, uglies? Well, we did have quite a few, <clears throat> uh, probably more than <clears throat> I'm able to read out. Okay, just give me a couple. Uh, I'll find them, it's not as easy as that. She's scrolling back. It's a long way, fell over 100 people on tonight. Wow, that's awesome. I know one of them, I know Tom South uh, has had trouble having to strip his Mark V down and put it back together. Is that good? I think it's pretty cool. Um, but the good was Mike now sends him a new hot for a barrel on the next day delivery. Honestly. Uh, Clayton, Silver Cloud. Clayton, the good was getting 10 curries and 4 boxes of cordial. I saw that. <coughs> curry making pal. The bad not being paid for a job for 4 weeks. Coming on to that. The guy is now pieing me, whatever that is. And he said the ugly one, that will be me. Not me. Oh, I'll get out. <coughs> Clayton, you're a good-looking fella. You've got a face for radio, mate. Oh, Alexander, two kitchens, each with six spotlights, all in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colin Sully, good. <coughs> Buying and using our new Mark 5 this week. The bag mm. was our 595, not working on the same day. It's just weird, isn't it? Uh, Paul Sharp, good. Loads of new customers on board this week. Bad going to tax the van and finding out the MOT ran three weeks ago. Uh, ugly spray gun broke this week. <laughs> Mr. Nash, Mr. Nash, Mr. Nash. Yeah, Rick Williams, <clears throat> good was going away with is going away with the guys this weekend. Bad finished the job last week only to be told the walls have been marked by carpet fitters. Electricians have made holes in the ceiling and the woodwork's been knocked. Ugly having to use vinyl silk emulsion on walls. Ooh. <coughs> that is damn right ugly. Yeah. <coughs> That's got to win the ugly. <coughs> yeah. Um, 
we, we always have good, bad and ugly. The good is, um, we had a really, really awesome holiday. <laughs> so I've just got to do this Go one. on. Fred Richardson, good was the weather, bad city lost. The ugly was fixing a hole in the waste pipe and the client flushed the toilet. Oh, oh. no, I took it back. That is, that's, oh. the, that's the ultimate ugly. Yeah. Are we done? Yeah, there's a few more. Uh, uh, you guys can read them. They sound really cool. Yeah. Uh, for us, the good, the bad and the ugly. The good is the holiday. We had a really, really awesome time. We were out there with a the family. It was a skiing holiday. It was massively active. The good bit is we all came back truly, truly knackered, but no injuries. That's, that's, that's a biggie for skiing. Um, the bad, what was the bad? Uh, oh, family. Yeah, family. Family, curveballs, okay. Uh, my mum isn't very well, okay, um, not well at all, we're in so we're in Sheffield, so I'm not going to be on the scene as much because I've got to spend a bit of time, um, it's life, I'm, I'm no different than you guys, and that leads on to the ugly, who was the one that's chasing money, Clayton? Uh, yes. Clayton, it's no different mate, I don't claim to be you know, Teflon, uh, we've got a guy that owes us a lot of money, We've done nothing wrong. He's just taken advantage of uh, uh, an advantage, advantage, and it's just got out of hand. We've hired a legal representative. It's not a um, it's not a debt company. It's actually someone that we now employ on a monthly retainer that is part of our legal department. Because we've, as I said before, we've got people that are doing things that we don't believe is 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 right, just and fair. So we're getting legal departments involved. And we're chasing the guy for the money. And the reason we're doing it is it's a service that she's building that we can try and offer moving down the line. It's called proactive risk management. So the idea is we're trying to put procedures in place all the way through so that we never have to wait for money. Okay, I'm running through it. If I end up going to court, I want to experience the whole so I know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm only the same as you guys. Sometimes I'm a nice guy. Like Pete said, if, if you're a nice guy, shoot me for it. Yeah, it is what we are. Someone took advantage, and now we've got to go down the legal route. I'm looking forward to seeing what the outcome is. I'd like to get paid, but it's more about building something long term. So that's my good, my bad, and my ugly. I'm no different than you guys. I have good days, bad days, and downright ugly days. So it's good to share. We're all in the same boat, okay? So let's just carry on doing what we're doing. Let's have an awesome week. Uh, a massive big shout out to Mr. Mike Nash and his team, so that's Martin and Steve, uh, for their support for obviously Spray and Make Sense, which I think is absolutely awesome. You know, Mike actually nailed it in his comment with the suppliers. He gets a lot out of this group, not financially, just he gets a lot out. If you want to know what the market's doing, be around the guys that are leading it. That says a lot. So have yourselves a lovely week, week weekend, a bit, bit of all of it. It's Thursday. Anything else, Liz? You're looking at those comments no, no, quite intently. No, lots of people are saying, and someone's doing the same to me at the moment. Shouldn't happen in this day and age. People taking advantage of your good nature, mate. Hate that, hate, you know, hate them. Um, Terry said to get a glass of red wine. Steve saying, can I have details of that, please? So. Um, Alan Duran is asking to us to encourage Irish suppliers to get involved as well. Yes, Damien's doing that. Do you know what? You guys do the work because it's you guys that are. Someone put the, did some equations, and those equations are quite frightening. We are all. Do you know what? We're all massively um, proactive people. We massively invest. You know, two, three years ago, you guys wouldn't think about spending two grand on a machine or, you know, uh, 800 quid on extraction or sanders or, you know, tip. Oh, my God, the money you guys spend at the moment. And once you start spraying, the exponential rate of products just goes through the roof. So we want the best. We will host it. We will do the work. You've seen me and Lens. We work our nuts off all the time. OK, we we don't take anything, you know. For granted, we work hard. We, you know, you, we, it is what it is. We're working really hard. We will make it the best we can. So you guys get behind us. We can't fail. We yeah. can't. So again, I've had a re it's really good to come back. I've really enjoyed having you know, Colin Dan here today supporting us for the courses. Mike supporting us for the Spray Make Sense. You guys going away with some goodies. Even a hat with dandruff is really, really cool. So there you go. <laughs> Just shake it out. You won't know by the time I finish. Oh, I will. So, again, 
Have yourselves a lovely week. We've ran over a little bit. I don't really care. I don't think you guys do either. We are heading over to PTA support. So all the guys that are obviously done the courses with us, we have a sit down coffee, open discussion. We bring people on to the live show and it's just a little more relaxed, chilled out. So we'll see you guys this time next week. Yeah. And if you want anything, you know where we are. Oh. I, I appreciate your support. I appreciate the fact that you turn up and you're not watching crappy TV. You're watching this crappy TV. <laughs> Excellent. I love you all. Night, guys. See you later. See ya. Cheers.